Skip Fragrance back again with another video guys. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing fine and in today's video you read it right guys. Top five menseris for the spring 2021. All right, guys, these five menseris are surely gonna get you complimented. They're surely gonna make you stand out. They're gonna get you noticed and they're gonna break through that mask and they're gonna let the person on the other side of that mask know that you're there, that you're wearing an awesome fragrance and they're gonna wanna know what you're wearing, guys. So hang tight. I'm gonna roll my music and I'm gonna come right back because the kid has something to say. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be going through these fragrances really quickly. I'm just gonna set out some rules, you know, for these, how I pick these five fragrances, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna spray them on paper. I'm not gonna hold anything up. I'm just gonna throw pictures up in the screen here uh, for you, just for reference of the fragrance. Uh, they're gonna be freshly sprayed, just cause I wanna get a, you know, you know, top note impression as I'm talking to you, as I'm guiding you through it. This is not gonna be in a full in-depth review about notes or anything like that, geeky or anything like that. Just, you know, if I love a fragrance that much, then I'm just gonna create a review solely on it. But these five min series are beautiful. I'm gonna go a little bit in detail, but not too much for your time sake and my time sake in terms of editing. And we're just now gonna roll into the review. So. All right, guys, these are my top five. All of these could be number one. They're not, because I have to start somewhere, but these are all great fragrances. Just want to keep that in mind for you guys. And I'm going to start with Mancera's Aoud Cafe. This is an amazing fragrance, very bright, very active for a coffee fragrance. Uh, coffee fragrances tend to be gourmandish. This is nothing like that. This is a very active fragrance this is the reason why i picked it i am loving uh the brightness of it the coffee note in here is real it gives me a cafe con leche vibe here it's super good i can see you wearing it as you're up and about you're wearing your jeans your casual wear you're on a date you could be on a date for this fragrance it's a daytime fragrance for me you can wear it whenever you want but this fragrance is a standout for me in terms of having a coffee fragrance that's fresh for the spring where you feel like, you know, you're popping, you're going about your business. And this fragrance is not gonna let you down. This could be worn by male, female. Uh, this fragrance is going to definitely turn heads. It's a beautiful fragrance. Ladies like this, I know it's definitely gonna get you that compliment factor. If you're looking for a compliment factor, you're definitely gonna find this here with Mancera's Aoud Cafe. Number fifth spot, could have been number one as well. I super love this fragrance. It's my favorite coffee, coffee noted fragrance in, in my collection. This is definitely my go-to when I am going for uh, an, an active type of a day. Number fifth spot, Mancera's Out Cafe. On my number four spot, guys, Mancera's Deep Forest. When I first learned of this fragrance, when I saw it on Mancera's Instagram account, uh, I thought this was gonna be a green-like fragrance, you know, forests and things of that nature. Maybe, maybe very earthy. Um, this fragrance is super professional to me as soon as I smelled it. It's, it is also a very daytime fragrance for me. I don't see myself wearing this at night, although when it does become a skin scent, it is definitely something sexy and sensual. Uh, as you dry down uh, on the notes here, I would urge you to go to the Mancera website. They have listed all the notes. I'm having that as guidance here and also for picture uh, 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 reference here for you guys, but this fragrance, is amazing, it's short. I don't know why people aren't talking more about it. I guess it's not a standout for most people. To me, it is because it's something different. And so if you wanna stand out and you want a powerful all day lasting fragrance, you're definitely going to love this fragrance. I guarantee you that is a Mancera that's gonna break through that mask. This is the one I was thinking about when I was thinking about that reference of breaking through the mask because this is a beautiful fragrance. If you're gonna want 
a fragrance to break through anyone's mask, you're gonna want this one to be it because it is super professional, super mass appealing, not in a designer-like type frame, you know, type of way, but it is definitely something that people can uh, agree on um, with this fragrance. It is blue in my interpretation of the notes that I'm smelling as a combination uh, of it all, but again, I see you up and about, I see you being active, I see you smelling great, projecting everywhere as you walk down the street, whenever you go out, if you're going to the supermarket, if you're going to a doctor's appointment, if you're going to an interview, very, very professional fragrance to wear for something in that setting of an interview uh, setting where you're, you know, you're dressed up, you're professional. Uh, although these days we're doing that through Zoom, uh, you know, presumably, uh, but if you do in the future want to wear something to an in-person meeting, this is definitely going to get the job done, guys. This is a beautiful skin scent too. When it dries down, it's super central. So maybe at the end of the day, if someone gets close, hey, I'm just saying it is very, very nice. All right. On my number four spot, Mancera's Deep Fars. You're going to get there. All right, guys. For my third pick here we're gonna go with Mancera's black gold guys I'm not gonna say much about this fragrance because this fragrance needs no hyping okay guys I love this fragrance because of its bright opening the lavender how is used here is the way other lavender based fragrance should take notice Mancera has done an amazing job of balancing the lavender in this fragrance it is a beautiful way of representing lavender, clean, beautiful, manly, woody. You got some vetiver notes in there. You have a leather note in here as well. Not too overpowering, like in a winter type of a sense. Um, but you're going to enjoy this fragrance ultimately because it's going to appeal to others. This is an all day stunner for me, guys. This lasts all day. It also projects and it becomes a beautiful, beautiful skin scent in the afternoon when it's come on kind of wearing out <laughs> because Mancera's always last more than eight hours. This one is no different. Um, this this is one of the Mancera's is where, you know, spraying four or five is not so bad because it'll go the extra mile there for you. But again, it's not gonna upset anyone. I wouldn't do that with red tobacco, for example. I see you wearing that, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, of this fragrance and it's definitely something agreeable, professional, executive, may I add, uh, in, in, my, in my opinion, like type of a fragrance. For my third pick, Mancera's Gold. Mancera's Black Gold. <laughs> Mancera's Black Gold. <laughs> All right, guys. For the number two spot here for my second pick out of these beautiful five fragrances, I'm going with Mancera's Comcat Wood, guys. This is an amazing stunner for me. I absolutely love it for the spring. It is a woody fragrance for sure. It is a beautiful grapefruit opening. I am a sucker for grapefruit in any fragrance, I think. It differentiates from bergamot or orange. This one is a little sweeter, a little fruitier, a little denser, I'm going to say. And of course, you're also going to have a patchouli here. That's, you know, no joke. I love the woody notes in here. You have some vetiver as well uh, on the base notes, which I think is the right decision to go. But I think they twist it uh, a little bit. Uh, more on the woody side and that's it's a very masculine fragrance for me it is a leather jacket if it's cold outside during the spring it's one of those cooler days and you could rock maybe a t-shirt with leather a leather jacket um, you're definitely going to enjoy wearing this fragrance it is very sensual guys if you're going on a date for sure this spring this summer you're going to enjoy comcat wood because of its woody nuances here. I think it's a very serious guy, you know, type of fragrance, as opposed to the professional uh, aspect of, you know, black gold and deep forest, uh, or the lighter aspect of Aoud Cafe. Uh, 
This one here is gonna be more on the masculine side. If you're a woman and you like woody fragrances, like my mom, she does like woody fragrances and you know she tends to grab mines when uh, she can test them, uh, you know, you can definitely wear it too. It appeals to the opposite sex, so I know that you're going to get complimented uh, wearing this fragrance because it is very sensual, very manly, very woody. Uh, the veteran here is done correctly. It's not too overpowering either. The patchouli note is superb, okay? Superb. I love it. I feel very confident when I wear it and I feel confident recommending it to you guys. All right, guys, on to my number one spot. All right, guys, for my number one spot, it is a sure fire, stunner, awesome, fragrance. I'm talking about the one and only Aoud Lemon Mint. I say Aoud because it starts with an A. Aoud Lemon Mint is one of Menceris's best fragrances alongside Sicily and um, Lemon Lime and other beautiful fragrances in their lineup that include the name of Lemon. I think for me, this is the best. Aoud Lemon Mint could not be more perfect for the spring. You have the woody aspect of the oud part in the base. You also have some vanilla pots in there. You have a little sweetness factor to this fragrance. You also have some jasmine uh, in the middle notes here uh, that dress this fragrance up. And you also have the lemon, the sizzly lemon note at the very top. It's just a showstopper. Again, showstopper of a fragrance. I can't repeat that enough. You're going to stand out. The mint also in the middle notes here is something that is just, it's captivating. Uh, although it's not overpowering, it just gives this fragrance that little twist that I'm looking for the spring in terms of menseris uh, that I can wear uh, when I'm going up and about. This fragrance is beautiful, sensual, because it dries down to a beautiful vetiver uh, um, base, as well as oud, and also uh, some of the white musk that you have in this fragrance, because I almost forgot the note <laughs> of white musk in here that cleans everything up. Again, keeps it fresh, vibrant, active, uh, because that's what the spring is for, right? We've been cooked up indoors. I think oud lemon mint, is something I can recommend safely because it is something that when you wear it, others are going to like smelling you. You're going to project with this fragrance, no doubt about it. The mint aspect of this fragrance just gives it that extra twist in the mix, right? Uh, so you can feel confident you're wearing a beautiful fragrance. I love this fragrance, the way that it develops, the way that it is composed. It is something Nothing short of beautiful, in my opinion. For my number one spot, it's going to be Aoud Lemon Mint. It is a great fragrance for the warmer part of the year as well. That time will come and we will go through those Manceruses again this year. Look for that video to come through uh, perhaps in June uh, because I, I definitely want to just follow up to see if Aoud Lemon Mint can actually still overcome the spring and the summer. I think it does. I think you guys also will agree on that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being with me here for making my Mancera videos something to watch on my channel. I love making these videos because I know the Mancera fan club is definitely a good crew. I enjoy you guys a lot. You guys comment the most on my channel. And uh, I certainly, certainly appreciate every one of you, but specifically for this video, my Mancera folks. This is for you guys. So I hope you like my picks. If you don't, if you have other suggestions, comment down below. Hit the like button while you're down there. Subscribe so you can get future notifications whenever I make a video, guys. And I definitely will make this my scent of the day. All right, guys. You guys have yourself a good day, a good evening, wherever you may be. I thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye. Oh, <laughs>